if we want to go fast and uh, run boost to make things run well, we need good matched injectors. Uh, people have suggested that my 2AR car is down on power because it's got a dud injector. Um, but I looked at sending them away to some places, but I didn't get good vibes. So I've built this little injector tester out of a Toyota fuel rail, a bit of angle iron for measuring cylinders, uh, a little Arduino board with a MOSFET on it that as we turn the knobs, it changes the on time and the off time in the PWM. Toyota ML2 fuel pump. So let's give it a whirl and see if my two AR injectors are actually squirting equally or not. Right, are you ready? We power the pump. And let's fire. Turn the bump off. So after that little run, they look pretty even to me. That one's got an ever so slightly smidgen more. We're talking a gnat's cock. I'd say they're pretty good then. It crossed my mind that someone else might want to make some sort of PWM injector controller thing. Um, I'm not really a big electronics engineer or anything uh, but I just codged this on a bit of a strip board so there's your Arduino those are the inputs there so there's variable resistors potentiometers whatever you call them there's my MOSFET the resistors one there one on the back you'll figure all that out if you wanted to make something like that uh, but so our output works like this the D7, pin D7 I'm using, fires a 5 volt, it's getting, it's got a pull down resistor and a current limiting resistor and it fires this MOSFET, I've used an IRLZ24N, has to be an N channel MOSFET for this setup, um, it's just a MOSFET that I had in a drawer. These are my four injectors, so we're running them in parallel, uh, this will pull about four amps i think these were i think i measured them at 12 ohms each so you end up at three ohms with them in parallel over 12 volts so that's how that really this should have some sort of diode in as well some some protection diode for the uh, reverse emf but it it'll live for my purposes so that's the output side so you could quite easily make that all you need is two resistors and a mosfet um the controller has just got two potentiometers two 10k potentiometers that goes to five volts which is uh five volts ground and ground um, i've got these on these two analog inputs here which are a6 and a7 uh, d7 output for the mosfet 
we put power to it v in to power it up on the ground so that's our little control and then to make them make the arduino this is an arduino nano by the way one of these just a, a cheapy chinese thing and then the actual source code itself is dead easy we call what the pins are so we've got the led pin i've made an led output for the light as well in case it wasn't working so you can see the light flashing on and off uh, we call seven for the output pin we set the pins up i also put a little output on it because it also writes the pot values as a bit of testing but you don't need that so you don't need those lines you don't need that either so we basically set the two pins as outputs then we we've got a little loop so this is the program we read the analog inputs uh, which just so happens to go from 1024 down to zero because it's an analog in and then we just shove these in as delays so it turns the pins on it waits it turns the pins off it waits it reads the inputs it turns the pins on it waits it turns the pins off it waits this is really crude lots of programmers are screw me over for doing that but it works it gives us a little pulse on and off within the limitations of the, the pulse speed that we that we require really so that's my very crude injector tester and then the fuel rail itself is literally a piece of 40 by 40 angle iron maybe 50 by 50 with four holes drilled in it that are spaced the same as the fuel rail dimensions 10 mil holes uh, two holes for some bolts to pinch through to hold the rail down all you've got to do at the end of the day is stop the pressure from popping the injectors out because they've got a rubber o-ring on it and that's a fuel rail off a uh, lexus hybrid thing the same but all of these denso injectors well most of them have the same size bore hole in so once you've made a rail like this you'll be able to test the vast majority of injectors and if you had a different size set of injectors, all you've got to do is get another rail and then drill yourself some holes somewhere else in it. Okay. And then the fuel hose just connects to it and a set of uh, connectors to pin yourself in. 